I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is a Cosmic Forest by uh, Tituan Milliwet. I believe that's pronounced. Probably getting that wrong. The creator of um, what was that called? Um, Moo Cartographer. Uh, that cool cartography game we played a bit ago. This is a free downloadable. Um, I don't know what it is, um, and that's kind of why I played it. But um, it sure is something. Um, it doesn't lock the mouse to the um, to the window, even in full screen mode. Uh, I think that's partly Unity's fault, but it seems to be something you can fix, because I've seen games not do that. Uh, I actually had to switch to one monitor mode to record this, unfortunately. I I have no idea what's going on. I, I, and that's occasionally the point. Oh! We have entered 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, yeah, kill the, kill the thing! Yeah! Is that the is that the objective? I think. I think you gotta shoot the the, the cube. Yeah, get out of here, cube. This is circle space now, punk. I think I'm circle. That's my, that's what my mouse cursor is. I'm just gonna assume this is you know, this is some kind of war between the cubes and the circles. Now I'm in fact the circle, which is the whoa. Uh, this is this is some really cool stuff, even if I don't understand what's going on. It's kind of my favorite thing. Like that's one of my kind of I, I don't know if you want to call that genres. Like f f I, it's one of my favorite experiences. Just something really unique and interesting. Um, not necessarily just like crazy and intentionally deliberately wacky like Revenge of the Sunfish. Though I do really like Re Revenge of the Sunfish. That's kind of its own thing. This is I don't know just. Very peaceful in the. Seem to be having some frame rate issues. Don't know what's going on with that. But uh, am I am I am I killing these? Is this gun shoot game? Is this Call of Duty? Did I am I calling these things to their duty, which is death? Who can say? I'm going, I'm going for the max combo, though. Look at that. I do visually really like... Oh, what is that? Is that the final boss? I gotta shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Get back here. Ah. It makes beautiful music when I shoot it, though. Which kind of reminds me of... Conceptually of... Um, everyday Shooter, which does not sound like... what it's, there. it's not what it sounds like. Um, very hard and strange... Um, shoot 'em up game um, for PS3. I, I don't know if it ever made it to any other platforms. It was very interesting, but uh, there was this caterpillar level I think it was where I just got stuck and never got past. Ooh, oh, I, I really love this visual style. Even if I think this is just kind of like move around, explore and see things, but whoa. Sometimes that's all you need, though. You just need something really cool to see and look around and just experience. And I've been on a break for a while, so I kind of wanted just something really cool to chill around in, not worry too much, see some cool stuff, you know, experience something unique, um, not have to invest too much to get the interesting stuff out of it. Ooh, we're in 50s TV land. My favorite variety of TV land. Oh man, the bitrate in this video is going to be total garbage. <laughs> All of the static. There's a lot of things that are really cool and simple effects for real-time graphics. And just, oh. We've entered the core! Uh-oh. But, um... Do not record well at all. This place is oddly unnerving. I, I don't feel like I'm leaving. Oh, this, is, this game does some really cool stuff. Visually with all of this stuff. Like, I'm not even particularly sure how some of the visuals are even made. Like, And it moves really interestingly. Like, like, there's no looking up and down. Just all left and right, which might be how some of the visual stuff works. You know, it might be a little... Ooh.
what is this stuff? Let's go back to the green. I guess we've kind of... I guess we've kind of seen most of what there is to see. Or at least we've seen the sort of things we have to see. See, I think there are polygons, but they don't... They don't feel like polygons. These, like, monolith things that we move around. Some really interesting rendering stuff going on. Woo! Oh, we're back here. Can I destroy these or, like, open them or something? I really like a good ambient track. I'm enjoying the the boopy sounds. Excuse you. Can we go inside this? Woo! It's kind of like a bamboo forest of like insane colors, and I kind of love that. Which reminds me, uh, um, I, when I first saw the icon for this, I thought it was the Bamboo EP, which is a game I'm going to be playing real soon. Um, very, very, very different, but it just reminds me of Bamboo, like I said. You know, tall shafts of blockiness, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, that, 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 that is this, whatever this is. And, um, yeah, that was really... Cool and lovely. I, I just really like that, you know, gaming, especially with Itch.io around and, you know, Game Jolt and Newgrounds to an extent before it. It's this place where you can just find really cool and strange and, you know, avant-garde things. And, you know, poke around and you can support them, you can share them, um, you can make them and upload them and, you know, it... it you know, it's kind of out, somewhat outside of, you know, the whole commercial space of, like, you know, is this a game? I wouldn't buy that. And, you know, on Itch.io, people, on average, pay more than is required. It's like the one, um, somebody on Twitter said it was the, the one gaming website where people pay more than a game is worth. And it's basically true. There's, I'll try to find an article. The, the, the Itch.io published some numbers. They're really great about publishing um, numbers for, like, sales and stuff, uh, and just general, uh, transparency and stuff, um, but a surprising amount of people, you know, as in more, significantly more than zero, actually pay over what a game is worth, you know, even for paid games, people will pay, you know, you know, you really like a game that's like, say, Binding of Isaac, you know, Binding of Isaac, you can get, like, uh, what is Rebirth, 15 bucks, normally, and, you know, you can play that for, like, 200 hours, and say you wanted to be like, okay, I'm gonna pay more for it. Um, you really only method for that. I get, you could buy copies for your friends, but um, other than that, you have to buy merch. And like the merch store has been offline for a long time. I've been meaning to buy some of their merch. I got the uh, tarot cards uh, when they did the first run of those. But other than that, like it's hard to support it. But if it was on itch.io, you could be like, oh, you know, I enjoyed this as much as a sixty dollar game. So why don't I just give me sixty bucks or you know thirty bucks, whatever. It's all up to you, and it's really... I really appreciate that, and I really appreciate that Itch.io, you know, is a great space for games like this to exist. Oh, hold on, I want to explore the blinkiness. I think that's just Z-Fighting. Yeah, ooh! I wonder that... I wonder if this is, like, procedural, or... Because it just seems to always be more stuff, but... Very, very cool. I really hope this recorded right, because I, I, I'm i so scared of recording full screen games, especially when I only have one screen. It's it's so scary. I don't... Mommy, I don't like full screen games. Ugh. Oh, oh I want to see the pink room. I gotta see the pink room, guys. Oh, it was just a pink pillar, not a pink room. Oh, well. Uh-oh. We're in 50s TV hell. Get me out! No! 